Hey, you. Yeah. Hey, you. Why haven't you subscribed? Uh-huh. Yeah, click below. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Well, hey, everyone. Welcome to Greg Morton Outdoors today. Uh, today, you know, I'm kind of... Kind of hesitant to do this, but I'm going to attempt to do a review on the Chicken Tramper 25 liter day pack. Uh, you might have seen me carrying it in the last, oh, I don't know, 12 videos I've done. Um, originally, I was going to do a different type of gear review, but <laughs> the more I get into it, the more I realize, wow, I sound like a total douchebag, uh, which won't do these guys justice um, because I am a true believer in their products and a true believer in what they're doing. So let me tell you about the pack here. It's 25 liters, uh, but let me just say this right now. They're lying. It's bigger than 25 liters. Trust me. Uh, and I'm going to show you uh, here as well. Uh, but it's made of an X-Pack material. It's not Dyneema. It only weighs like one pound, five ounces. Uh, and I've gone through about six different day packs and when i say day packs i mean anything below say 30 liters and this is by far the most comfortable day pack i've ever put on my back uh, this has been fantastic so first of all let me show you the size of this and and, and bear with me here um, now you notice here it, it's got a uh, a Y strap going across the top that feeds into a couple of load lifters on the straps. Uh, you don't normally see something like that with a, a normal day pack. So it's a roll top uh, closure. And let's open this sucker up. Excuse me for a minute. All right. What can we put in this? Well, there's one six pack. There's two six packs. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else do we have in here. Oh wait, that's three six packs and <laughs> Bottle of Maker's Mark. Awesome. So I had to back out a little so you could see how the roll top looks. Uh, so you can obviously see that if you wanted to, you could extend it up further with that. Uh, and also with that Y strap on the top, you can use that Y strap to attach things also like your tent or you know, maybe even a, a, a you know small bear canister or something. So the front of it's got a, a stretch pocket here. Um, there we go. We'll film in, uh, which is, is great. You know, if you want to stuff your, uh, you know, your, your rain jacket in there or, you know, if you want to keep something on the outside that you want to get quick access to. The great thing about it is you can tighten it up as much as you need to or loosen it both sides also have the mesh pockets as well that are totally adjustable uh, i definitely get one water uh, bottle in there um, look you can you can get a bottle of maker's mark in there too um, it's definitely enough for a one liter bottle uh, that's normally what i carry on the on the sides you can also with the compression straps here uh, use that to hold things in place like your trekking poles or if need be you can crank these down to uh, compress your pack as needed now when i first ordered this initially you could either get a j strap or an s strap uh, i wanted the s strap uh, you know just my, my shoulders a little bit bigger uh, and it would have fit more comfortably and the thing is, I screwed up my order, and I, I put a J-strap down. I got confused for a minute. Uh, but, you know, I reached out to the guys and said, hey, I sh you know, messed up my order. Can we fix it? And they said, not a problem. And, and they took care of it. Um, you've got the daisy chain. You've got the daisy chain loops here. These are optional. This is the chest pouch. And this is the water bottle sleeve. Uh, chest, pouch works, chest pouch works for me because... I can keep a, uh, a battery bank in there and also on the outside I can fit my phone in there also so that's perfect for me um, if you're like me and if you don't want to stop to get your water bottle out and you hate doing that having the water bottle sleeve 
up on the strap is really, really handy when it comes to keeping hydrated. Uh, this, I recommend. Like I said, these are optional, you know, add-ons. Uh, I highly recommend them, though. This is a really cool feature here. Uh, you've got these two mesh pockets here, and this is a sit pad. Uh, and you can keep this in, or you can swap it out if you get a Z seat or something else. I've got a uh, self-inflating uh, seat to summit uh, one that I'm going to try in there soon to see how it works out. But uh, yeah, this is really, really handy and surprising how much cushioning this provides for your back. Uh, another thing that they did a good job with are the, is the hip belt. Uh, you know, it's, it's not very long, but most of, the, most of the time when you've got packs in this size, 25 liter, 30 liter or smaller, you've got more of like a strap. You don't actually have a hip belt. Uh, so, you know, that strap really does nothing except get in the way. This hip belt really does transfer the weight to your hips just like a full-size pack does. Um, they did, like I said, a really good job with this. Uh, it's also removable here if you want to take it off altogether uh, last weekend I actually hiked a bit without using the the hip belt and boy this was a really really comfortable fit uh, it was a really really comfortable ride on my back one feature here that I thought was really cool uh, I thought another thing they did a good job with was your your pocket on the outside here you can see that's a waterproof zipper there and if you go to their web page, it talks about, you know, the pouch is there. So this way you don't have to dig to the bottom of the, uh, uh, the pack for your keys or your wallet or stuff like that. Well, let me show you something. You can get more than your keys and your wallet in this pocket. How's that for storage? Um, and one thing I did tell them, they asked me for feedback shortly after I got the pack. And I know this is nitpicking, but I just think it would be nice if there was like maybe a lanyard with a hook on it so you can hook your keys there real quick. Um, you know, sometimes when you get back from a, a hike, you know, it's really cool to be able to have those uh, easily accessible, especially if you need to get in your car really quick for whatever reason, whether it's raining or, you know, you're hiking in a, you know, sketchy area or something like that, you know, you can get your keys really quick. But, hey, another thing about the pack, I was just kind of messing around with it down with all the rest of my other gear. And I was able to get my 30-degree quilt, sleeping pad, tent, uh, food kit, the whole nine yards, basically my summer weight loadout into that thing. Uh, I could probably carry maybe one or two nights worth of food. Uh, so the plan is right now for maybe a couple of the short trips I'm going to do this year during the summertime, that's not going to be my go-to pack. So why did the chicken tramper cross the road? Because that's where the trailhead was. You know, here's another thing about this. This X-Pack material... This is damn near indestructible. This is going to last you forever. So there it is, folks. That's the Down and Dirty with the Chicken Tramper 25 liter day pack. I know I suck at reviews, but their gear doesn't suck. So please go and check them out, chickentrampergear.com. Uh, look them up on the gram. They're posting all the time on Instagram. Man, it's just a fantastic pack. Um, if you want to know more about them, uh, John Kelly and Jeremiah Stringer did an interview with those guys. That's how I learned about the company. I'm going to put the link to that interview down below. Uh, fantastic products, fantastic company, and just a couple of really cool guys. Um, and it feels good supporting a small business and helping somebody achieve their dreams. So that's about it for me. I'm going to have a couple of beers here and chill out. And you know what? I'll talk to you later. Oh, and another thing. I know I only have like 35 subscribers to my channel, but 
Hey, Nathan Austin, if you guys want to sponsor me, well, I'm your Huckleberry.